Hello everybody. So today it's been raining. <laughs> that is my sister over there. Um, she's laughing at me because she thinks it's ridiculous. But anyways, so I just finished a sketch doing some fan art for a show called The Wack Fu. And I'm shipping two of the characters. So I'm doing that. And I didn't, the sketch itself is very messy. Let's see focuses yeah see so I wanted to make it more clean I also don't like how her face turned out so I kind I used transfer paper or whatever it's called tracing paper and I drew them and I really like how they turned out um, so right now I'm trying to figure out how it is that I'm gonna put the sketch on this side of the paper that way I can do it traditionally um, lately I've been liking traditional, I've been doing stuff traditionally and then not liking it, or at least the colors and stuff. So this probably is going to end up being a digital piece, but yeah, we'll see. So this is the setup I ended up going with. Um, if you don't have a light table, this is a good alternative. See how you can see the back of the, yeah. And then you can see this one poking through, so... Why are you facing the thing to her when you are showing them? Huh? So my sister just pointed out. I didn't actually show you guys the sketch, so this is my other sketch that I did a while ago. Can't really see it, the lighting's terrible. Oh, there. Okay, focus. There you go. Ah! Yeah, so I really like how this one turned out. Looks pretty good. But anyways, back to, back to the project or whatever that I'm doing. Yeah. So, just gonna work on that and then I'll show you. What do you have to wear when you dye your hair? I don't know. Uh, an old shirt. Like a shirt you wouldn't mind having to throw away if it gets messed up. Okay, well. Yeah. I just finished the sketch. I'm gonna peel it off the wall now. So, I should probably mention that the characters I'm drawing are called Eva and Trespin, or Pinpin, or Dally, or Personal. He has a lot of names. So, I just finished doing like a little, like making it darker. So, Okay, put it down. Are you talking to me? It's okay. Are you so, talking to me? No, it's okay. So, there's like these under parts where I make the lines darker, which is where like shadows would be. Right? So, in the bottom of the jaw, that's where a shadow would be. The bottom of her collar, that's where it would be. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to move on to watercolor now. So I just finished laying down um, all the flat colors. Um, I'm just going to wait for them to dry. And the reason I do this is so that um, when I put on the colors that are actually supposed to go there, that way um, it, they will be brighter. For example, her suit is actually going to be black. Um, but then, so I laid down this blue so that the black would look more vibrant. And then, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for it to dry. I'm going to take a shower and then come back into it. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to end up working on it traditionally. Mm. Yeah, so, I'm gonna so I could have just kept working on this uh, digital and uh, traditionally, but I've been kind of getting into uh, what's it called um, 
digital art, of course, yes. And so, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. It's a lot harder than, I think, traditional art in a way, because, um, I don't know, at least for me it is. And people have this weird concept that digital art isn't like the same as traditional, and it, it isn't. But it is, so I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. And yeah, so I started out trying to do an outline, but the, I saw that the outline that I have in this uh, picture is kind of dull. And maybe I should have just kind of waited until tomorrow when the lighting was better, because I don't think it's this dull in the original watercolor piece, but yeah. Um. I could talk about some interesting things that I've countered while digital painting. I could talk about... Oh yeah, I could talk about my weird um, art block that I had. Because I've been wanting to talk about it, yeah. So, this whole summer I really wanted to just kind of get up every day and like make videos every day and you know, all that dandy stuff. But I just kind of didn't feel motivated to do it, so I literally didn't do anything all summer, which is kind of a bummer, but, um, and, and I know it's kind of interesting because there was, like, a huge controversy earlier this year with art block, and I think it's really weird that, because it, it seems like everybody got art block at around the same time, and so, and that's where, like, the controversy started, and let me just get this straight. I was unmotivated to draw and stuff, but I ended I I still did it. Um and it wasn't very fun. It was just kind of to pass the time. And I even uploaded a video that um on my channel called Art Block Sketches where um I just kind of um doodled and did random stuff. And I that's pretty much what I do when I end at, get an art block. I don't really stop drawing. I just don't make anything that is worth anything, if that makes sense. So I think like um, things are only real if they're real to yourself or to oneself. For example, um, art block is very real to me, right? But someone who um, has never had art block or whose art block doesn't allow them or stop them from making really great art, I think those people wouldn't understand what it feels like not to want to make anything nice or good or just... Yeah, so I think like it would be hard for them to understand how people like me feel. Right, Nana? Just say yes. Yes. See? My sister agrees with me. And it's kind of like uh, how people who genuine, genuinely believe in God think uh, they can't possibly imagine what it, what it, how like someone could come to the conclusion that there isn't one. And I think it's also how like you know someone who's atheist couldn't possibly understand why someone would come to the conclusion that there is a God. It's like one of those weird things where it's like you can't, you can't possibly understand something so you don't think it's real or you don't agree with it or etc um yeah so I think that's kind of like art block it's real to those who it is real and I'm pretty sure there are people who just get lazy and don't want to do it but then um I don't know I don't think I'm lazy when it comes to art I mean otherwise I wouldn't have started a YouTube channel um if I didn't genuinely love what I do, so, yeah. Mm. I don't even know what to talk about. Mm. Oh, here I kind of got lazy, because I, I, I don't know if you guys have been seeing, but I've been taking colors that ha were already there, and just kind of adding them to the thing or whatever, but, um, but I just uh, got lazy here. Huh, maybe I am lazy. Anyways, um, it took me forever to find this, uh, uh, what's it called? Screen recorder? I don't know what it's called. 
Oh, and I, sorry. I like watched a bunch. That's eh, fine. Sneeze all you want. Sneeze again. <laughs> um, that's my sister. It's my sister Nana. She's so cute, and she just dyed her hair because she's thirteen, and it's her first time. Oh. It's a video. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, so, um, it's it was. I think it's kind of funny because we dyed her hair, and then like. <laughs> she dyed it like a red, like a very dark red over her brown hair. And her hair is kind of like a light brown, so that's how, you know, it showed up a bit, but not so much. And so she's just kind of convinced that her hair does not look red. And it's hilarious, because <laughs> we have to wait until tomorrow morning for her to be able to see it. Boop. It just booped her nose. Okay, back to the drawing. Uh, I should talk about the characters. Um, these are characters from a show called Wakfu. It's a French animated show. Very nice. It seems pretty lighthearted at first, but, um, it gets kind of dark. Like, there's some dark themes that kind of come up, which are very interesting. And, I don't know, I just, I really like the show. Um, these characters that I, that you see here, I'm, like, shipping them pretty hard. That's what I'm doing, fan art. And hopefully I can finish this so I can, uh, do some fan art for a friend. Because her birthday's coming up. And yeah. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so, many. so it's a. Uh, oh. It's pretty <laughs> like It's okay, Linda. And look. It's raining outside. Well, anyways, uh, that's as far as I got today with my little fan art. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll keep working on it soon. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.